another video. Today I want to talk about the most versatile road shoe in my rotation. Uh, it's the New Balance Beacon. I have hesitated. I've had this channel for about 11 months now. I have not talked about the Beacon uh, or done a real review, mostly because I don't own the most recent version of the Beacon. Uh, the Beacon version 1 came out in 2018. It used their New, Be New Balance's Fresh Foam. Um, in the earlier Fresh Foam shoes they had like the Zante, the Fresh Foam was very dense. Uh, they still were very good shoes. They were just not as cushiony feeling as a lot of people wanted. Um, these came out and they were extremely popular amongst reviewers and there were actually several reviewers that called it their shoe of the year. I bought the, two th the uh, Beacon 1 in 2018 and I've loved the shoe. It has worked great for me. The uh, foam is um, not super cushy like a lot of the newer super foams. Uh, it is a form of EVA foam uh, that I think they have fluffed up a bit more but it's not as soft as like a New Balance's Fuel Cell or some of the other brands that have a, a newer foam. But these, uh, this shoe comes with a six millimeter drop. It's a 29 uh, stack height in the heel, a 23 stack height in the forefoot. Uh, it still gives lots of protection. Um, I have run really long runs in these. Uh, I've done marathons in these shoes. I've pulled them out in my 48 hour races and done probably 40 miles in them. These shoes uh, are extremely lightweight. The version ones came in at like 7.3 ounces. And on my scale in a men's size 11 and a half, they come in at right at like 8.01 ounces. Uh, I loved the shoes. I bought several of them that were on clearance when they moved to the V2s. The V2s came out in 2019, the latter part of 2019. Uh, these do have a, a strange little wavy thing on the back. Uh, they came out with this pull tab thing that, that sticks up, uh, the, the, long, the long heel tab which I wasn't thinking I was going to like. I was afraid it would irritate me. But what I found out is uh, it did not irritate me. It, it's back off at your ankle enough that it doesn't bother me. And instead of having the nice uh, cushioned collar, it actually just has a built up, built up ridge of cushioning on the inside. Well, that actually ended up working real well for me as well. Uh, it kept my foot in place, it was comfortable. So I've owned a few pairs of the V2s. I have uh, actually stockpiled a lot of these. I'm on like my fourth or fifth pair of, of New Balance Beacons. I'm currently running in these V1s um, and I'm up to about 210 miles in them. The, obviously these are not the only shoes I run in, I have just found them uh, very versatile and they've worked for me for lots of things. I've used them for shorter runs because they are light enough and bouncy enough that they work really good for a tempo sort of run. I wouldn't say they are necessarily my first pick for a tempo run because I've got shoes that um, weigh maybe six ounces or have the newer foams that are even bouncier. But these are always, like I said, these are the most versatile shoes. I, I'm able to run in them short, uh, tempo type rate runs all the way to long runs. So I'll go to a race, um, one of my long races, and I may choose a real max cushioned, soft cushioned shoe as my uh, main shoe, but I'll have these as a backup. Um, and these are also just great to throw on for when I don't know what, uh, they're, they're good to throw in as a backup for any, any sort of condition. If I was gonna travel or just own one shoe, uh, these would probably be my choice because you can use them in such a variety of different circumstances on the road. 
Um, anyway, so they have been great shoes for me. Um, the one drawback that I have had with them is the in, uh, insole in them tends to slip up like this. Um, when you run in them very long, eight, eight, 10 miles, they'll start moving up. And I've had them fall out because they, they come all the way up my ankle, up to my Achilles tendon. But uh, what I've done to a lot of these shoes is I get just some spray adhesive. I pull out the pull out the insole, I spray some spray adhesive in there, and I kind of stick them down. And then they're not an issue. Uh, these shoes come with, you'll see that there's very little rubber on them. There's just rubber in some high impact areas on contact, which I think has a little bit of rubber or something in it, so it, it becomes a little bit tougher. I've had very good durability with these shoes. Like I said, this is either my fourth or fifth pair, uh, and I usually retire them between 380 and 450 miles. It, it kind of varies, but uh, they have lasted well for me. Now you will see that they, they will wear down. Uh, these little pods will wear down, but they, and that's eventually why I retire them. That and the, the rubber will wear away. But they actually grip really well, surprisingly, for not having much rubber on the outsole. I have no problem with them in slick conditions. I've run it on grass. Uh, I have no issues with them. The shoes fit very true to size. Uh, a lot of people, some people may not like them because they have a very pretty wide forefoot. Uh, I actually prefer a wide forefoot. I run a lot in ultras. Um, that have a wide forefoot, so so I enjoy these. Uh, this first version of the shoe came with this knit upper, which still breathed pretty well. I found it very comfortable, no new issues. When they moved to version two also, they switched to this engineered mesh material. And uh, like I said, this heel that changed quite a bit, but the outsole and the midsole were identical. Um, anyway, these shoes have worked extremely well for me. My understanding is um, version three is very similar to version two. Uh, they apparently improved the upper a little bit. They changed very slightly the outsole, uh, just the the pattern of the lugs on the bottom. But there's it's still the same material. It still works the same. Uh, they also went to their fresh foam X material, which. So the midsole is the same, but it's just very slightly softer, is my understanding. And some people like that. Um, most of the reviews that I have read and watched have said that the Fresh Foam X, this, it, it is slightly softer, but if you like the version one and version two, you'll still like version three. And uh, so my intention is to buy a, uh, and actually version, version one and version two that I bought. Uh, this is my last version one that I'm using. I have this brand new pair of version twos that I haven't gotten into, but what I'm looking for is a discount on version three, and I will definitely buy them. Uh, version three, another change that has happened is version one came in at like 7.3 ounces in a men's size uh, nine. In my men's size 11 and a half, they came in at 8.01 ounces. The version two, uh, they they went up in weight by a couple tenths of an ounce. Uh, I think they're like 7.5 ounces or so in a men's size nine. I know on my scale, the uh, men's size 11 and a half come in at 8.22 ounces. So they added about two tenths of an ounce but they still work real well for me. And that's still very light weight for the amount of cushion they provide and the versatility they provide. I have read that version three actually jumped up another half ounce, uh, which is, I don't like the trend of the shoes getting heavier, but I've still heard very good things and that they're still very lightweight. You're still getting a, a, a big stack height of 29 and 23, and they're still only coming in at a little over eight ounces for a men's size. Uh, nine so i i will definitely try them i'm hoping to get a pair soon um, you'll see that new balance doesn't actually discount these shoes very much they have when they introduced the version one they were selling them for 120 dollars the version th two sold for 120 dollars version three sells for 120 dollars 
Uh, I am hoping to soon get a discount and get me a version 3, but I haven't been in any real rush because, like I said, I'm still using some stocked up version 1 and version 2. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give um, my review of these shoes. They, they have been a big part of my rotation for the last three years. Um, so they aren't necessarily my first choice in every category, but they're probably my second choice in most categories, and they work for almost everything. So uh, I've really enjoyed the shoes. Just thought you might be interested in uh, hearing my opinion on them. And uh, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. If you liked the video, please consider hitting the thumbs up, the, the like button. If you are interested in more of my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Other than that, I hope you're having a great day and keep moving.